Lynn, what are you doing for your dessert? I'm making a play on a cheese platter, chef. What about you, David? I'm going to make a very refined version of my wife's favorite lemon dessert. You will have 60 minutes to make us a stunning dessert that could secure your victory. We're neck and neck. I'm not going to give up with my dessert. Throughout this competition, Lynn has been a powerhouse with desserts. And now i got to compete with her and do a better one. Are you ready? Yes, yes chef. chef. Your time starts now. There are six elements on my plate. One of the elements is black olive pistachio dark chocolate bread. I have to get that bread made because from start to finish, it takes an hour. This dish is all about layers. The first layer is white chocolate graham cracker cake. The second layer, cream cheese mousse with vanilla bean. And on the top are shards of meringue. And for a garnish, I'm doing lemon curd. This is the deal breaker. If this dessert isn't perfect, everything will be for naught. With dessert, it is all about the refinement. And I think dessert is far less forgiving. In pastry, there's nowhere to hide. The dessert I've been working on in my head is very complicated, and I will need an hour and 15 minutes to produce it. And I have 60 minutes. Hi there, David. Hello, Chef. Walk me through each component of desserts. So the crust will be a sponge cake. And that's the foundation, the base. And that will be the base. And then the center will be vanilla cream cheese mousse. Wonderful. And that's what you're working on right now? Exactly. So does this then have to go in the freezer? Yes, into the freezer. Which is going to be the most difficult aspect of this dessert? Just bringing it all together in the time allotted. Maybe it's making your wife proud with this new and improved version of the dessert. What do you think? I hope so. <laughs> Thanks, David. Hi there, Lynn. Hi, Chef. Can you walk me through each component of your dessert, please? I have uh, pistachio brittle. My mom cooks brittle, and she puts it in tins, and that's what people want for Christmas. Wow. I also have a mascarpone mousse. This is an olive oil savory bread. We all love bread. French people love bread, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's true. I'm making glazed apricots, and that will be served alongside Chateau de Bourgogne. Sounds like you've got a lot to deal with. Yes, Chef. And if there's anyone who can pull it off, I'm going to guess it's going to be you, Lynn. Thank you, Chef. Woo! I'm working on lemon curd. Every move I make needs to be intentional. I don't have the time to make mistakes. 15 minutes! There's 15 minutes left! Oh, what did he put in there? Curd. He just realized he didn't cook it. I stuck a raw lemon curd into the freezer. I need to cook that. I am in full panic mode. He is really cutting this close. I'm not sure he's going to make it. Minutes, ten minutes left. Here we go. This is very, very close. He is really cutting this close. I see nothing, nothing on the plate. But Lynn is almost finished. Five minutes. You have five minutes left. Oh my goodness, this is unbelievable. Finally, David is now starting to plate. He's starting to put together his dessert. You got it. Oh, my God. He's still running around. Lynn is already finished. One minute. You have one minute left. He's still got to put his meringue on. It's going to be within seconds if he pulls this off. You can do it, Jack! Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Heads up! Wow. Last dish. Winner or lose, I'm happy.
happy with myself. I'm this close to the title of Master Chef Canada. Now, it's time for the most important tasting of your culinary lives. Here we go, Annette. David, please bring up your dessert. My dessert is a lemon curd parfait on a graham cracker sponge base with meringue. Are you as surprised as we are that you pulled this off? No. I wasn't going to give up. Not today. No way. Can't wait to try it. really adore all the flavors. The presentation to me is unique. There's so many textures happening here. You have crunchy from the meringue, soft from the mousse. The cake is sensational, flawless. You know, David, I am impressed. You really elevated your wife's lemon dessert here. The star of the show really is this lemon curd because the sharpness and the sweetness, that balances perfectly. This, to me, is heaven in a spoon. The mousse is light and fluffy and delicate. The lemon curd, if that had not made it to the plate, this would not be a successful dessert. It's very well done. Thank you. Lynn, please bring up your dish. My dessert's a plate on a cheese plate. It has homemade chocolate olive bread, pistachio brittle, a mascarpone mousse, candied apricots, and my favorite cheese, Chateau de Bourgogne. Well, Lynn, this is an intelligent dessert. The chocolate bread with the pistachio and the olive goes very nicely with that salty cheese and the apricot. That's delicious. This is a plate I would like to share my friends. Lynn, the mascarpone mousse. Mascarpone can be extremely rich and heavy, but you were able to present it in a way that delivered a featheriness to it. My only comment would be if the brittle because that was the sweetest element. I felt it was a little bit of the odd man out. But everything else is really very, very good. Lynn, you've done something very, very rare on this cheese board. You've mixed two ingredients that work so beautifully together, the olives and the chocolate. It's actually one of the most memorable things I've had in the entire competition. I would serve that in my restaurant any day. Please return to the kitchen while we discuss which one of you most deserves to be Canada's next master chef. All your lives, you've cultivated your passion for food, delighting friends and family. All those experiences culminated in the masterful three-course meal that you created for us tonight. Bye. As you know, only one of you can be Canada's next master chef. Choosing a winner came down to the smallest of details. One of you inched ahead of the other in presentation, technique, and flavor. That person will win $100,000, this trophy, and the life-changing title of Master Chef Canada. This year's winner and Canada's new master chef is David. Oh, no. You did it. Oh. You did it. I am the best home cook in Canada right now, and nobody can take it from me.
Lynn brought it big time. I truly, truly am inspired by the work that Lynn did tonight. I'm not going to give up because there's always another road to the finish line. Watch out, Canada. You haven't seen the last of me. I'm a blue collar concrete guy from Surrey, and I won MasterChef Canada. It happened to me.